the dangers of splitting land in California. You coming through. Oh, they got people up here weaving back and forth. There's a white car that done it twice. Look like an SUV, so. Hey, everybody. Richard Wilson, James Ryder. This is going to be a, a, a video about lane splitting in California. But I'm not going to split lanes. I just want to talk about it for a minute. It's kind of late. It's after 9 o'clock, and it's still the traffic that we have to deal with. And... Yes, several bikes passed me splitting lanes. But we were doing 50 miles an hour. I mean, I think my life is worth it, so I won't risk splitting and sharing and filtering at 50 miles an hour. There's nothing that I really need to get to that's that urgent. Of course, I saw them coming up. I move over and let them go. Now, the reason I'm doing this video, I am going to show you guys a clip where one of the bikers who was doing it all these windows up and it's traffic people not hearing you do loud pipes save life now the video i'm going to show you i, I wind up turning the video on after the incident there was an incident everybody turned out okay and the, the results of the incident i don't know so what was going on the guy was splitting lane right where i am now in a number three lane in heavy traffic and he was really, really out of control. I mean, I'm watching him, and I should have turned the camera on at that time. And I mean, talking about a beautiful bike he had. He was really out of control. And every time he hit his throttle, his bike was jumping forward. In other words, he wasn't riding friction zone or he wasn't using his brakes properly. So he decided to split lanes to the lane to my right, number four lane and number three. And at this time, traffic was at almost a dead standstill, which at that point in time, I was split lane too. And he ran into the back of a truck. I saw him losing, I saw him wobbling, and he hit the back of a truck. And of course he's okay. The bike went down. He jumped up and hurry up and picked the bike up. When it comes to any incidents, for me, based on my training and what I know and what I talk about in our Ride brief. The most important thing is traffic control. And I don't care if the police come out and traffic come out and say, why are you blocking traffic? We need to get it moving right, right along. So I parked my bike to block traffic and everybody understood. People were giving me the thumbs up. Honestly, I, I was kind of shocked. And so the guy is pissed. You'll see in the video and I explain some of the things, what I've done right after I watch, watch, watch this clip. The dangers of splitting land in California. This guy was riding crazy. I'm gonna blow his plate off. Blow his plate off. He was riding wild and he ran into the back of this truck. And he's mad and blaming the truck for what he done. So they're exchanging numbers. They arguing. But all they need to do is exchange numbers. Can I get out of your truck with a motorcycle? That makes no sense. See, we gotta help each other out as bikers out here. This guy did not want to give his license or nothing. And and all you got to do is take pictures of each other's license and, and then report it with, let the insurance handle it. Because if police come, they're going to stop all this traffic and it's going to be worse. So seeing that clip, what happened, he was pissed. Now, let's be honest. Just because you're splitting lanes, you don't have the right of way. He was 100% wrong. And it was his fault. And a truck he hit, I don't think the guy really know that this truck got hit. But the, the biker got off and was yelling and screaming and cursing, and he took his phone out, so I'm assuming he was doing live video at that time. But the guy in the truck didn't want to get out of the truck, which obviously bothered the biker. But they were still blocking traffic. So I go ask the guy, I say, why do you not want to get out? Oh, no, he didn't want to give up his license. I say, all it is right now is an accident. Pull over to the side, follow me, and I escorted him to the side. I pull over to the side, and you don't have to give up your license. What you do is let him take a photograph of your license. And I talked to the young guy also, the biker, take a photograph of his license. It, that way you guys exchange information and let your insurance take care of it. Now, 
I told the driver, I said, hey, man, I'm, I'm a big advocate for motorcycling. But I told the driver, I don't know this guy. I'm not taking side. So <laughs> the motorcyclist came to me and said, did you see what happened? I said, yeah, I saw everything. And he said, okay, great. So I said, hey, man, let's just walk over here. I walked back to his bike, and these are my exact words. I said, trust me, you really don't want to use me as a witness. Trust me. And he looked at me with this perplexed look on his face, like, why not? He didn't ask, but he looked at me. I said, trust me, you don't want to want me as a witness. So you can see in the video, they're exchanging videos and I, uh, or information, and I turned the camera back on and got on and went on my merry way. The moral of this story is, for those of you who split lanes, even in your state where it's not legal, know what you're doing. And out here in California, of course, there's some a-hole drivers that that jealous that you get through traffic and not going to move over for you. But for the most part, when we split lanes, we have a wide, wide, wide look to split lanes. Contrary to what people believe, it's actually safer when two cars are next to each other because neither one of them could go anywhere. Herein lies the problem when some people don't want to get over this car from Colorado, and I guess he's not used to it, so he's not getting over, and I ain't playing with this big red truck right here. Look at my slow riding, I put my foot down. There we go, I can get over right here. And look like we're going to be rolling down here because it is, look like traffic for miles. And yes, we take it to our advantage. Anyway, that's all I have for right now. I'm just riding around headed to the dealer and dropping cake tire off because she got a flat tire. And there's nothing that we're trying to plug and go and get a new tire. That's all I have for now. But if you're riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong. Most importantly, ride safe. Boost Jeans Riders, I'm Rich, and I'm out. Peace.